Good afternoon. Now let's look at the actual video for a few minutes. I don't know how long it's going to take. And he's, now he's trying a disclaimer. Now it comes a disclaimer. Uh, if you look at the actual beginning of the video, you'd see I'm not trying to set a date. Well, he has a question. Could the rapture happen in 2020? The answer is simple. Yes. So what's, what, uh, what, what else does this say? <laughs> there are no events that have to happen for the rapture, people. That's the point. I'm not a rapture a date setter. I'm not a date setter. Could the rapture be in 2020? In no way, that's the day there. So anyway, if you're a troll, please go away. Just go. No, no, we're not going away, Robert Breaker. We're not going to go away and leave you and and uh, Gene Kim and John Davis and all you other guys, Brian Daniels, to say whatever you want to say. We're not going to. We're not going to do it. We're going to be on you, exposing you for the fraud that you are. Away. If you don't love Jesus Christ and love talking about his appearing, would you just go stick your head... That is the difference here. That's not talking about prophecy issues. That's not saying... Let's, let's talk about prophecy. And let's talk about the rapture. Let's talk about the prophetic events of the second coming after the rapture. This is, could the rapture be in 2020? That's a date issue. That's not an issue of love and prophecy. See how he twists words, people? In the sand and leave us alone who do. No, you don't love it. You phony. You're setting up a date. And you ask a question which can be answered very easily. Yeah, the rapture of course can happen in 2020. Why wouldn't it? It couldn't happen. Okay, that's enough I'm going to say about that. Yeah. You phony liar. But today what I want to do is I want to go to the scriptures. Yeah, and, and not one scripture is going to tell you about the rapture being 2020, people. Not one, rapture, not one scripture is going to tell you when the, when the rapture is going to happen or the second advent is going to happen. Could the rapture be in 2020? That's the question he's asking. He's not discussing prophetic events and the issue of what's what study prophecy and how prophecy is, is always fulfilled and... Uh, the Lord's definitely going to come return, the premillennial return, and, and the rapture has to happen first, and, and uh, the church is taken up. And he's not talking about that. He's talking about could the rapture be in 2020? That's a date. When the answer, of, of course, can happen in 2020. And it's nothing the scripture can tell you otherwise. I want to ask the question could the rapture be in 2020? It could be, it could not be. Yeah, so what are you going to tell us now? But I want to talk about that today, and I think the... It could be or could not be. There's, there's, there's a guy teaching doctrine. It could be or could not be. The Bible says we have every right to. Every I... right to? Where? What does it say there? What does it ever say uh, you have every right? See, that's Ruckman. Then he'll tell you he doesn't... He, he's not a Ruckman guy. He always got Ruckman on past. No, Ruckman was his teacher. And Ruckman got... Infested these guys with an uh, 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 infection with these guys. To set dates. I've had people lately tell me, Brother Breaker, you should never, ever talk about the return of Jesus. No, that's not what we're saying, people. See how he lies? No, we're telling you don't worry about the date. You should always be talking about the return of Jesus. You foul mouthed liar. You rotten, no good liar. No one's saying you're not supposed to be talking about the return of Jesus. We're talking about trying to set a date. Will Jesus return in 2027? Why? How awful that you should try to, to talk about when Jesus is coming. We don't know. When? Yeah, now we get to the issue. Not the return of Jesus Christ, but when. That's a date. We shouldn't talk about it. When? Because you don't know. You can't know. Okay, that's your opinion. No, it's not my opinion. And that's why you guys are still looking. That's your opinion. I know. That's nobody's opinion. That's why you can't find it. And that's why you'll never be able to find it. But you're not reading the Bible. Oh, well, I'm sure you're not reading the Bible. See this? This this, this liar? Deceiver? We're not reading the Bible? Well, you're reading the Bible and you can't find the date. The Bible says we should talk about it. Ah, oh, see how you switch words now? Should talk about Not the date. It doesn't say anybody talking about date people in the Bible. It talks about should about talking about the return. See how he just twisted words on you people. We should be talking about his return. 
and be excited about the rapture and about the fact that there's a second coming to set up his kingdom. But nothing about in the Bible ever says we should be talking about his date. In fact, the last thing when the apostles asked him when, when the Lord was coming back to set up his, his kingdom, the Lord says, it's not in your hands. It's not for you to know the date. The last question the apostles asked him when he returned to the Lord. And, the, and he, he, he told, the Lord told the apostles, it's not for you to know. It's in the Father's hands. And we can, and guess what? You can. You can? You can't find a date. We will. Yeah, you will. See? See how we conflated two different things, people? One, talking about prophetic issues. And two, setting a date about prophetic issues. See the arrogance and the lying, tw scripture twisting that this guy has. Amen. And I enjoy it. Yeah, you enjoy it, but you can't find a date. No one talk about talking about prophetic events and the intimacy of the rapture and the prophetic events that occur after the rapture as a whole different issue than talking about when those things you see it? when those things are going to happen. I enjoy talking about the coming of Christ. So Second Timothy chapter double tongue liar. Chapter four and verse eight. In Second Timothy chapter four and verse eight, the Bible says this. In Second Timothy four eight, we read. Henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day. And not to me only, but unto all them that love his appearing. When will he appear? Yeah. Love is appearing doesn't mean you're going to know when it's appearing. See how it conflates the issue, people. Loving his appearing means searching for his appearing, what day he's going to post to come back. Two different issues. This is how deceitful this guy is. Here, well, Jesus Christ appears at the rapture. And the Bible says right there... Love is appealing is mean looking for the date of his appealing. The man is lying to you and he's conflated two issues. Loving prophecy and looking for when prophetic events are going to happen. But if you love no one could have predicted Israel... Back in the land 1948. And that's not even a prophetic event. But no one could predict predicted that people. You could look down at Doomsday. For night Israel getting back in the land. 1948. But the pre-trib uh, pre dispensationalists said. Israel has to get back in the land on belief. They taught that. But they couldn't give you a date on that. They would never give you a date. They said, we don't know when it's going to happen. But we know it has to happen because the Lord returns to uh, Israel and they see him there. But that was an issue. They couldn't, they couldn't tell you, oh, yeah, the date, 1948. We, we, we predict 1948 to Israel's get back in the land. That wasn't listening to any prophecy. The prophecy was that Israel has to, by, by inductive reasoning, Israel has to get back in the land as unbelievers. Isaiah 11, 11, be two regatherings. But no date was ever set. The Lord, and you're looking for his soon return, and you love his appearing. Love his appearing. Doesn't mean setting dates. Then guess what? You're going to get a crown. And that, yeah, you're not getting a crown for, for guessing when he's going to return. Crown comes for loving his appearing. Uh, not for guessing when he's going to appear. I love him so much for what he's done for me. He died on the cross for my sins, shed his blood for me. Who am I? Nobody. But what I am is I'm redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. And because he died for me, because he shed his blood for me, because of all that he's done for me, I want to do for him. So what does he do? He lies. He tells people to look for prophecy as when, not what's going to happen, but when it's going to happen. It different people. Prophecy is about what's going to happen. It doesn't tell you when it's going to happen. But I also love his appearing. I love his coming. I can't wait for him to come back. And I love to talk about it. And the Bible says... And that's why his comments are turned off. He loves to talk about it so much, people, that he turns his comments off. As that I'm going to get a crown in heaven because I love... This is how warped this guy's thinking is. He can't understand what... 
is going to happen as opposed to when it's going to happen. It's appearing. How about you? In Revelation 3.11, we're warned. And in Revelation 3.11... Give us a scripture that tells you you're supposed to look for when. You're supposed to be watchful. But you're never supposed to look for the, the uh, date. He can't give you a scripture on that. It warns us about someone who would try to take your crown. Matter of fact, let's go... To Being excited to love returning is not the same as knowing when he's going to return. It's anticipation. We're never told when he's going to return. The question he has up here is, could the rapture happen in 2020, people? He's conflating prophetic, prophetic events, what will happen, to when they will happen. Real quick, Revelation chapter 3, and verse 11. Now, now, remember, he always says, I'm giving scripture, people. None of these scriptures have to do with when. The, the, Paul was talking about a crown for looking forward to his appearance, which was imminent. Remember, he has a whole video on was Paul date said, and has Paul going back to Jerusalem so he could get, so he could be raptured up. Where did he make that up from? Where did he get that nonsense from? Oh well, Paul wanted to go to Jerusalem so he could be raptured. Let me stop here. I'll put this up. And people wonder why I get on this guy. Suddenly, he confused. Prophets for prophetic, being excited about prophetic events, what's going to happen, with when they're going to happen. You see how he did it? See how subtle he is? Subtle he is. Oh, you people aren't reading your Bible. You're not excited about prophetic things. We talk about the second coming. Oh, we love talking about the second coming. We love talking about the Lord setting up his kingdom. But we don't talk about it. will he come back in 2020? Can the Lord can, can the Lord come back in 2020? That's the question he has here. Could the Lord, could the rapture be in 2020? Yeah. Okay. Oh, now we're going to talk about prophetic events. Look at this, look at that, look at that. And he says, when, when? You can't tell when. I said before, pre-tribulation or tribulate, uh, pre-trib, pre-trib dispensationalists always made the proviso said the Jews had to get back in the land before the second advent. They didn't know how that was going to happen. They didn't know when it was going to happen, but they didn't know what had to happen. Because you had prophecies that had him in the land. When the Antichrist builds a temple, I mean, it, it, it uh, enters into the temple. So that means it had to be in the land. And of course, the Lord returning. In my knowledge. And, and uh, you know, they see the Lord, they see the Lord returning. But they didn't say when. They said, we don't know. You know, uh, obviously, the physical aspect of that was 1948. They couldn't predict it in 1940. They couldn't predict World War I and World War II. Because that's what it took. It took two world wars. To get the Jew back in the land. You told a person in 1900 that the Jew was going to get back in the land. They say, you're nut. <laughs> get out of here. No way the Jew gets back on land. The Turks owned that land. And no one wanted the land. It was desolate. The Jews didn't want the land. The Jews didn't want to go back to the land. So all of this guy, all this thing he's talking, he doesn't know what he's talking about. But he tries to, he conflates prophecy, loving prophecy, and looking at prophecy, and knowing, because it, it just shows who God is. God fulfills prophecy. As opposed to when prophecy is going to happen. I think when date's going to happen. He's lying to you. I get excited if you're not reading. You're not reading your Bible, and I'm looking forward to the Lord. We're all looking forward to the Lord's return. We're just not telling you when He's going to come, or pretending, or asking dates. Could the Lord return in 2020? Hey, yeah, could the Lord return in 2020? Or the Lord could return today? There's nothing to stop the Lord returning from t uh, t returning today. But I get so excited, you know. Paul was the first date setter. Was Paul the first date setter? He went back to, I, I think, Paul went back to Jerusalem. He tells us about having opinions. I think Paul wanted to go back there and he wanted to get excited and see the Lord return next year. 
these guys can stay normal for only so long, people. See, they put a, f a facade up there, and then they crack again. And people look at him and say, well, what's so bad about it? So I, watch, just wait for a while. You'll see him. You'll see him. This will come out. So I'll stop, put this up. Amen, thank you.